Hi everyone. I'm so excited to talk to you about Pan Autumn. Pan Autumn stands for Pacific Asian and North American Asian Women in Theology and Ministry. It's been around for 35 years. It's a gathering of scholars and students coming together usually once a year to talk about theology and ministry. So I've been part of Pan Autumn for a while. I think I've began in 1996 when I was a PhD student. I went to my first Pan Autumn in Boston and after that I went to a few other ones in um, I believe in New York and Atlanta and um, in Chicago and it's been exciting to be part of Pan Autumn. So I started as a grad student and um, soon after we started they also started the mentoring program for PhD students. And it was there that I really um, reaped a lot of rewards from being part of this very important community of Asian and Asian American women coming together with similar difficulties, similar challenges, and similar goals and vision. The experiences of anti-Asian racism was blatant in our studies, in our ministry, and even as we began our teaching careers. So I owe a lot to Pan Autumn. I'm excited to, uh, to see how Pan Autumn has reached so many other um, students and those who have gone into ministry and in teaching. I teach at Earlham School of Religion. I'm a professor of theology. And I've done some writing and speaking in the, age, in the area of theology, pneumatology, climate justice. So from my roots of being part of Pan Autumn, I gained a lot of confidence and assurance from senior scholars uh, who I still view as wonderful mentors who helped me along the way. So today I'm involved with climate justice work with the World Council of Churches. There's members from around the globe who are professors, who are ministers, who are leaders within the church denomination to engage in this fight against environmental injustice. As we see um, climate injustice happening all throughout the world, I find it ever more important that people like myself and other Asian Americans engage in this very important work. So I give thanks to Pan Autumn. This year, as they celebrate 35 years, um, they published three books off the menu, uh, Leading Wisdom, and this is the latest book. It's called Asian and Asian American Women in Theology and Religion, and the subtitle is Embodying Knowledge. It's edited by Dr. Kwok Guiman, and it's part of my series with Joseph Chan for Paul Gray McMillan, Asian, Asian Christianity in the Diaspora. There's um, important contributors in this book, all part of Pan Autumn. So um, for them to celebrate, for us to celebrate 35 years, this was a landmark um, publication. There's um, contributions from such scholars like Gail E. Rita Nakashima Brock, Sharon Su, Shun Hee Yoon, uh, Jane uh, Iwamura, and the list goes on and on, many of whom are my friends. So I encourage you, as Pan Autumn celebrates 35 years, that you get this very, very important volume. As we live during this pandemic, uh, COVID-19, there's been a rise of um, anti-Asian racism. And I think it's not just us Asians who need to speak out against racism, against Asian Americans, but if we can be in solidarity and let everyone speak out against anti-Asian racism, particularly during this COVID-19, where we are targeted intentionally, physically, verbally, psychologically, that we can all fight against racism. And to 
understand more about who we are, it's important to read books like the one I mentioned. And there's so many scholars. If you go into the Pan Autumn website, it's a newly designed website, you can see many um, scholarly books. Of course, they're not all listed. listed. It's only a, a short um, collection that's been posted. There's also videos uh, that you can watch um, put together by Asian American scholars and those in ministry. So it's a joy to be part of Pan Autumn. Uh, it's wonderful that there have been lots of supporters along the way, uh, those within the Asian American community and those outside the Asian American community. And I think as I reflect on my teaching career, uh, without the important group Pan Autumn, I don't know where I've been, where I would have been, or where I would have landed. The support, encouragement, and the mentorship that I found um, from other um, classmates like myself and from scholars, senior scholars, have been invaluable. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank uh, particularly the founders of Pan Autumn. Um, thank you so much for all the work that you have done uh, in raising people like myself and the future generation those who are coming up in the pipeline, those who are going into the ministry, those who are going um, into other kinds of work and activism work, and those who are going into, into the academy. Thank you so much to the founders. And I wish all the best of luck to the young scholars, the young ministers who are coming up in solidarity. Thank you.